everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to the Brian Watkins channel. My topic is, what do I miss most about uh, the Sugar Hill Game rapper, Big Bank Hank? The reason why I'm doing this is to share my point of view and what I miss about him the most to all of the other Sugar Hill fans like myself that is mourning the loss of one of the legendary rappers, pioneer rappers, Big Bang Hank. I came into a knowledge of the Sugar Hill game rappers, I would have to say, yep, it was the fall of um, 19... 79, cause I was staying on Cardone in Detroit, Michigan on Seven Mile near the I-75 freeway. I was attending Marshall Elementary. And um, at that time, the group Chic had came out with the song, Good Times. So at first when I heard the song, I, I thought it was a commercial. You know, most times it's common at that time, they would use a snippet of a hit song to make a beer commercial. So when I heard the background of Good Times by Sheep, and I heard some people speaking in a rhythmatic voice style, I just thought it was a commercial jingle. It wasn't until I kept hearing it especially on Fridays and Saturday nights. So I, I kind of ignored it a few times. I admit I did. But what ended up happening, they kept playing it. And people was winning money, like naming something that was said in the song or whatever. So this people started, you know, I started hearing it more and more and more. So much so, I, I performed the song at school. Like I think it was for like, you know, the day before it's Christmas holiday. You know, the teacher asks, you got any talent or show and tell, you know, to break your shyness so you gain confidence to speak in front of a group of people. So I was already doing the Parliament's music, Aqua Boogie. So they was like, um, they was like, Brian, I know he got something to perform. And uh, they was like, yeah, come on up, come on up. So I, I started rapping the song, Rapper's Delight. So I knew Master G's part, I knew Wonder Mike's part, and I knew Big Bank Hank's part. So, um, it went a step further. My third oldest brother, Anthony, at the time he was attending Persian High School or was Osborne. He had gotten a fight and got kicked out for, he was really good at martial arts. But anyway, my point is this. Um, he was in the modeling group Shades of Mahogany that my father and my stepmother and my stepsisters and my other brothers, they was all involved in it. So he had uh, messed around and got a bald head. <laughs> Just saw the picture <laughs> on his uh, Osborne uh, school ID. He had put a perm in his hair and his hair fell out, so he had a bald head. Anyway. So he, he he performed the song at the modeling event, and it went really well. So by this time, the song took off. It's a smash. So they released the 12-inch version. So, of course, again, I'm still, you know, performing the song at school. So I end up learning the 12-inch version of it. It was my sister, my cousin Carmen Beretti, that stayed on Bloom in Detroit off 7 Mile uh, near Mount Road. So I, I had it down pat so much. So um, when I found out he passed away, I was, you know, hurt because I have to give them a lot of credit that, well, I'm, I can rap now. And I would definitely say it came from that point in my life with those three rappers because they're like the pioneers. No one, I, I didn't know anything about rap music before that time at all. I hadn't even heard of it, period. So when they came on the scene like that, I think, um, let me see. 
I don't I see I, I know the the lyrics to rap was delight, but to point out Big Bad Big Bang Hank, you know, it's like it's all of them combined into three the trio. They were tight. But so when I found out he passed away from cancer, I didn't even know he was sick. Cause I was like, they were still touring and stuff, you know, especially like on um, the hip hop channels. They always paid mad homage to them. So I didn't even know he was sick. So when he passed away, I was stunned, still stunned. So what I miss about Big Bang Hank, um, everything, his style, you know, great storyteller, excellent timing, rhythmatic, you know, I, um, I'm just speechless completely. Because, again, I, I grew up listening to that music so much so. That's how I know how to rap today. I can rap behind any beat. I would say the origin of it came from Rapper's Delight, the Sugar Hill Gang, all of them, Wonder Mike, Master G, and Big Bang Hank. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I miss about them. Um, if you like my channel, subscribe to it. If you like or dislike it, click either one. Put a comment. You can even put in a request. And continue to watch my show because I do it daily. Continue to watch and support the Brian Watkins channel. And I'll also start running a contest too so you can win things. Uh, cash, money, and prizes. So don't you go anywhere.